Hey y'all, this is Brandy from Southern Crafts DIY, and I want to say hey to all my returning viewers and welcome to any new viewers. So if you follow me on social media, which is which sorry, which the links are down below, you'll see me. You have seen a list of everything needed for today's project. So we're just gonna jump right in and get to it, and I can show you all this cute little project. All right, so the first thing we're gonna need is a skull. I picked this one because it's from a project I did last year. So we're gonna need a skull, and because it's not white and I want it white, I'm gonna be using some spray paint and hopefully it works because I've never done this before. And I'm gonna be using some sandpaper to rough up the skull to hopefully make it stick. And then they have at Dollar Tree, at least I had them last year, where these little witch hat picks comes looking like this. I went ahead and took it off because I don't need it. Well, they fell off, really. They weren't really that glued. So, you're going to need that. And then you're going to need some glue. I'm going to use super hot glue. And that is literally all you need for today's project. So, let's get started. Like I said, I hope this works. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take sandpaper. And we're just going to rough up this skull a little. I don't know if this is going to work. I've never tried this before. But of course, if you have it or you want to, you can always just get a regular skull from Dollar Tree, Walmart, whatever, but this is what I had and this is what I'm going to work with. So. Just try to rough it up. So let's go to the next step. All right, so I came outside because I don't have any words inside the spray paint and I don't want the noxious fumes. So we're just gonna try this. And see if it works and if it doesn't, I will try something else. I don't think it's working y'all all right y'all I don't think it worked though it does look pretty cool that it's not the effect I was going for so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna just not do this and luckily I have a backup plan so hold on y'all y'all so my backup is I bought a skull from Dollar Tree just in case it didn't work because something was telling me that because I wanted it to work it wouldn't do it they a uh, uh, Walmart also last year had a skull smaller than this if you watched my skull video you'll see me do both it looks better too but this is what I had so this is what I'm gonna work with I'm not hating on it so all you're gonna do is you're gonna take and you're gonna Put some glue on his head wherever you want the hat to go. Right? 
and then you just glue the hat on there. And you can even come back and add more glue after you get the hat set down. And that's all you have to do. And I'll show you it when it's done. And don't worry, I will find something to use that other skull for. I'm not going to let it go to waste, but there you go. There is my little skeleton. And if you're worried about it staying, if you want it to stick, you can either use one of these in it, which I'll have to drill a hole. Or you can attach it to like a piece of wood. But that is literally it for this project. I will probably glue it to some wood just to help it stay better. I'm not hating on it. I'm a little upset that I didn't do what I wanted to do. But, you know, that's the whole point of trial and error. So give me a second. I'll find my wood. Alright, so I found this piece of wood. And it's one of the ones that came in the six pack. And it'll work perfectly because the skull is kind of long. But I don't just want to do that. I'm never going to just do that. So this is just extra. I am going to paint this piece of wood black. There's also other options. You can Mod Podge stuff on it like a napkin or you can do vinyl. There's different rows. But I'm just going to paint it black. And you don't even have to do black. Halloween's orange and black, so you can do orange for it. But, you know, just be creative and have some fun when you do this stuff. And like I said, if you really want to do something different than what I'm doing, you could take the pick from the hat and attach the skull to it. It'll work too. So I'm going to paint the whole thing black, sides and bottom too, and then we'll move to the next part. Alright, so the last thing we're going to do is we're just going to add the glue. On here to glue it to the um, Thing. the base and I might have got a little more glue than needed it's not a big deal I just wanted to make sure I got it everywhere as that was needed and that's literally it for our little Halloween witch skull I think it came out looking pretty cool I'm happy with it again not exactly what I had in mind but you know sometimes it comes out better than you think it would than you thought it would there set it wrong all right y'all so Alright y'all, see how that project didn't really take too long, I'm going to do something extra. And what I'm going to use is of course my Waverly chalk paint ink color, same thing I used for the base of my skeleton I just did. And I'm going to take one of these ores that I got for 4th of July from Walmart, well after 4th of July, but it's a little summer ore thing. I'm going to take that. And then I'm going to take a piece of this paper. It is cardstock. It's really paper pad, but we call, I call it cardstock. Um, it's a Halloween theme. I'm going to take one of those. I got this from Michael's last year, and I got it when it was on sale. I do not believe I paid the $12. I'm pretty sure I paid a sale price for it. And some Mod Podge. Which one? Some Mod Podge, and we're going to do this project shouldn't take too too long all right so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint the whole thing black 
And what this is going to be is going to be in the style of a um, stirring thing for like a cauldron. It's just a decor piece, but that's the inspiration I'm using this for. I'm going to take this ore and turn it into a stirring stick. But I want to paint the whole thing black first, like I said. Just because I want to make sure it doesn't show through the paper, which I really don't think it will. And also just to give it a uniform look. I like uniform looks. I like everything to look like it's done. Now, I will say this. I am not going to be really painting the back because it already has the little things on it to attach it and I don't want to paint over them and I don't want to take them out so this is going to be one of the one few times I do not paint the whole thing but I will be doing the front and the sides so dry and just to let you know if you don't get it completely covered down here on the ore part it is fine the paddle part because that's gonna be covered by the paper up here you want it to look a lot nicer and on the sides so I'm gonna let this dry and then I'll finish painting it all right y'all now that it's dry we're gonna just take and we're gonna add the Mod Podge to the bottom and then we're gonna put this um, paper on there so all you gotta do this on there and now we're just going to cover it like you would normally do with Mod Podge you'll do a coat over the top And then we're going to let it dry. Alright, so. Once it's dry, we will move on to the next step. And we are almost done. Alright y'all, it is dry. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove the excess paper
me try a different one. I got several different ones. Yeah, this one seems to be working. I'm trying to be careful because I don't want to cut up the um, actual thing I made. I don't want to you have to repair the paint job, that's what it's called. So I'm trying to be careful with what I'm doing. Screw up. Now this little pin I got off Timu and I love it. It works really well. Make sure y'all are getting a good view of this, sorry. So it is literally just a little pin that has, I don't know what happened, there it is. Um, what is going on? It has a blade on it. I don't know why my phone's acting like that all of a sudden. So there it is, and I am going to have to touch it up a little bit. My hand shakes and I had problems in a few spots, but it's okay. I think it looks great anyways. I'm happy with it. I think this will be great wall art for Halloween, and I am so happy with it. Alright y'all, so that is it for today's projects. I had fun doing it. I think they came out looking amazing, both of them. And if you like this, 
please, please, please like, share, subscribe, excuse me, and comment down below because it does help my channel grow. And I will see y'all next time. Bye.